Continuing with our look at uh, layer blend modes, let's go ahead and take a look at color burn. So color burn is um, a method of multiplying the pixels on multiple layers, uh, and it always results in a darker pixel um, being displayed. Uh, it'll never end up being a lighter color. Uh, additionally, the whites, again, are treated as uh, transparency. Uh, you can see here on the right, I've got a text layer. I've added a gradient to it that's got a bright red color uh, grade going into a uh, white color. So let's go ahead and enable color burn. And you can see immediately that the whites get knocked out. So again, regardless of which layer that white is on, which I believe is different than what uh, Multiply does, uh, white always wins and white becomes transparent. However, uh, where any of the other colors are combined or multiplied here, um, you end up with a darker, more contrasty color. Now, let's take this a step further. I'm going to go ahead and turn off this text layer. And I've created a series of bands that go up uh, from a 100% white to a 25% black, 50% black, 75% black, and then 100% 100, 100 black. Uh, and you can see again, your white essentially is transparent. So if we toggle this, you can see there's no change. Uh, and then as we go up in to uh, 25, 50, 75, and 100, uh, 100 obviously being completely black, um, those colors in between, however, or those bands in between, we end up with more contrast um, and a uh, nice multiply effect on the uh, layer. So color burn has uh, an opposite, and that one is color dodge. So you can see again, uh, this time as the opposite of color burn, white becomes completely uh, visible, black becomes um, almost completely transparent, and uh, in between all you see really are the contrasting values. I just want to say thank you for stopping by my channel. If this video was at all helpful to you, it'd mean a lot to me if you liked or subscribed. Share this video if you know someone that could use the information. As always, if you have questions, suggestions for tutorials, or if there is some other creative software that you think I should start making tutorials for, leave a comment below.